Okay, what's your name? Colin. Colin? Colin. Okay, Colin, I have a question for you today. Uh, would you consider yourself to be a good person? Yes. Yes, I would. Do you think there's an objective standard of right and wrong? Yes. What do you think that standard is? Um, to be one, to kind, be, to be kind to one and all, you know, like, not put people down. Just, like, if they're in a bad state, don't just let them sit there, you know, try to help. So what would you say to someone who says, my objective standard is that everyone should be mean to each other and they should put people down? What would you say to them? Uh, your total thought is wrong. Why? Because the earth wouldn't work if we were all, like, that mean to each other and stuff like that. Our world would be in chaos. You're right about that, but now you're presupposing that the world should work. Why do you presuppose that? Mm, because, in honesty, we should all get get. We should all work together for unity and fair, fairness. You know. Everyone. What if somebody says, "I think we should work together for division and disunity." Mm, well, personally, you would have to find somebody that could agree with you. In my thoughts, I would not agree with that. No. See, not many people agree with that because they kind of presuppose that things should, everyone should help each other and everyone should be nice to each other and live in unity and that kind of thing. Do you know where that comes from? Um, well, I know back in the old days, things used to be pretty good. Everybody used to be fair to each other. And you got nowadays, you got gangsters, all those. They just want their stuff to be like theirs, not shared with, the, with everybody, you know? Sure. So obviously you try to be a moral guy. You try to do what's right. Okay, do you know what God's standard of good is? Uh, to be fair to all and not to sin. Okay. Okay. So do you think you've... The Bible says that the Ten Commandments, which is kind of a sum, synopsis of what you kind of said, is God's standard of what's right and wrong. Do you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? Uh, personally, no. No. Have you ever lied? Yes. yes. Stolen anything? Yes. Yes, I have. Taken God's name in vain? Yes, I have. Hated someone? Looked at a woman with lust? Yeah. So, God sees all these things that you've done, and you say you try to do what's right. But if God is just, do you think you deserve heaven or hell? Mm, well, I know that in the Bible it says, for all that sin that... And fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah that you can still be accepted into heaven. You just have to, you know, believe, you have to do good and believe that he, he is there for you. Okay, so if I were to say to a judge, if I've broken, broken the judge's laws, right? Uh, let's say I've murdered someone, okay? That's a really bad crime. I, I stand in front of the judge and the judge says, Isaac, I know you've murdered someone, but I love you, so I'm gonna let you go free. Is that a loving thing to do? Uh, in all honesty, no, because you're not, they're not getting the justice that they deserve. Exactly. Like the mother of the man I killed, that's not loving for her. That's terrible. So if God, if God is just, what should he do with us? Uh, if honestly, he can just love us for who we are. He knows that we make mistakes and if we ask for forgiveness, he shall forgive. So if God is simply lets us go, that's not just, and that's not loving. We already said that we are, if, if the judge lets us go for free, right, you don't have to do anything, you just let go. That's not loving. So if God is perfectly loving and perfectly just, we, and we're guilty of breaking God's law, he should punish us, even though that's not what we want to say, right? Do you know what Jesus did so we don't have to be punished and go to hell? He died on a cross for us and suffered for all of our sins. Jesus came to this earth fully God and fully man without sin and he died on the cross taking the punishment that we deserve. See, it's not being about it's not about being a good person cuz we all try to be good, but the Bible says no one is good, no not one. No one seeks after God, no one does what is right. That's why Jesus died on the cross for our sins so we can be forgiven. And what it says is that if we repent, which means turn from sin and trust in Jesus, we can be forgiven and go to heaven with God. Have you heard this before? Yes. Yes, I have. Do you believe this? Yes. Yeah. Have you repented and put your faith in Jesus? Uh, multiple times. Now, oftentimes, there can be something called a false conversion, where we come to God and we say, God, I want you to rule over my life. I want you, God. And that's it. They'll say it, but they don't mean it. 
They'll say it what they don't mean it. Well, the Bible calls us, a lot of people will come to God and they'll ask Him, Oh, I want you to be the ruler of my life. I want you, God. No, no one else. But a lot, a lot of times they're missing the repentance, which means turn from sin and trust in Jesus. It's not being about being a good person. It's about Jesus took that punishment for us. Now, at the beginning, you consider yourself to be a good person. Was that correct? Yeah. Do you consider yourself to be a good person now? Yes. Now, what the Bible says is no one's good. No, no one does what is right. Do you believe that? And so, to some degree, yes. Okay. So I would just encourage you, if the Bible's correct in saying that no one is good, and if God is just, he has to punish us if he's going to be loving. We deserve hell, but Jesus took our punishment. I would simply encourage you, look on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Trust in him for your salvation. Thanks so much for talking to me today. Not a problem. Thanks.